Hey guys, Coach Travis with Personal Peak here. We're just working on developing our level two advanced strength program for a bunch of our athletes. And one of the things we always like to do with any program is we like to test something before we roll it out, um, just to make sure that we know it's affecting things in the way that we want it to. Um, so one of the ways that we like to test before we work on a new strength program is with body composition testing. And so we figured we'd take this opportunity to just do a really quick run through. If you're gonna be going for body composition testing somewhere, um, here's a quick overview of what the process looks like. Uh, take a look. The first thing we do when doing a body composition analysis is we start with landmarks. So we find different bony structures underneath the surface of the skin, uh, put marks on those with a pen, and this allows us to take accurate and repeatable measurements. This is key in getting accurate skin folds. Uh, next thing we move on to is a round of going around the body, taking different skin fold measurements. And we do this a minimum of two times just to make sure that all those measurements are very accurate. Uh, if there's any things that we missed, we do them a third time. And then we move on to girth measurements. We're just measuring the circumference of different body parts. Uh, and just like the skin folds, we go through this two different times just to make sure that we have accurate and repeatable measurements. And finally, to finish it off, we do some breaths, just measuring the width of a couple of different bones. All right, so there you have it, a really quick run through of what body composition measurement looks like if we're using skin folds. Uh, the big thing, if you are gonna get this done for yourself out there somewhere, uh, the biggest things you wanna look for are reliability and repeatability. Those are the two most important things for testing. Uh, one single measurement test doesn't mean a whole lot. The biggest thing you wanna do is track changes over time. Um, so what you need to make sure if you're going to be tracking changes over time is the reliability. So you want to make sure you have someone who is certified, someone who has tons of experience doing this. Uh, just picking up some calipers, pinching some sights isn't going to make um, for an accurate measurement. So that's the reliability piece. The repeatability piece, you want to make sure that you're testing it for you as a person being tested as a subject. You want to make sure that you're testing under similar conditions every time. So. Uh, you don't want to test right after a really hard workout. You want to test at the same time of the day. Uh, you also want to make sure that you're being tested by the same person all the time. Uh, there's always a little bit of variability from uh, tester to tester. So just you can reduce that by just always being tested by the same person. Uh, so there you have it. There's a really quick run through of uh, skin fold testing and uh, what it looks like. And that's just one of the measurements that we use uh, as a marker when we're testing out some of our new, uh, new programs. It's just trying to track a whole bunch of different things and make sure that uh, everything is progressing in the direction that we want it to.